we're here at our Project Blow Your Mind and this is the master suite, right? We're in the master shower. And this slab, we've done videos about post-tension concrete. What is post-tension concrete? Here in Gilbert in the East Valley, we have expansive soil. Uh, this is farmland. Uh, it's not a great soil type. Uh, it's not horrible either, but at the same time, although it's easy to work with, it is expansive. You know, when you start thinking about the moisture content, the soil report, how that uh, soil expands, and what we don't want are failures, issues in the future. So by, for that reason, this entire slab, this foundation, is post-tension concrete and that ties everything together and is a great protector when you're working with expansive soil. Now one thing, a lot of people are weary and, and nervous about doing any uh, concrete cutting when there's post-tension slab. And a workaround, you know, there are companies that we work with, if you have to do a saw cut, if you have to increase the size of the shower, um, here with some of the detailing in this shower, you know, that we're working through, there are some cutting that we have to do, which is very common. Um, and this is per a new layout and design. But what happens is there's an x-ray company, they come out, they x-ray all the cables. So they can come out, they can lay out the cables, they can identify where those are at, and then you can work around that as you're cutting. That way, the guys that are in the field doing the concrete cutting, they know where the cables are, they're laid out, they're identified through x-ray, and now they can cut safely without cutting those cables. Now. Again, a lot of people are worried that, hey, what happens if I cut a cable? Is my house gonna fall apart? Is my foundation, is my slab gonna fail? No, that's not the case, right? If you're cutting through a slab and you do cut a cable and it snaps out, right, which does happen on occasion, there are cable repair companies. They come in, they have a special crimping system, right? They come in, they tie everything together, they re-pull, they re-tension that line. And so this does happen. A cable repair is very common. It's okay, nothing to lose sleep on. Just make sure you have a great professional coming in to that cable repair. So you can see here our project manager, Spencer, was working in this master shower. There's gonna be some cutting and some decorative drains installed. Um, and so even though the slab's poured, he's come through and he's laid out. You can see here we have the cable line, so he's laid out the cables here. Cause we have cables running sideways, both ways, and then um, front and back, right? So he's laid out the cables that run this way, that run this way. Now, as our plumber and our concrete company come in to do the work that's needed, for the new shower design, they can work around these cables, uh, know exactly where they're at, and still uh, complete the project and the change that we have to make.